Um, my presentation topic is double discharge evidence of generalized metals left function via fractional derivative. Uh, the purpose of this paper is to establish the result of a discrete average of generalized metals left function using the fractional derivative. The solution is obtained in this paper is in the compact form of the double discrete average of generalized metals left function. Several special cases are also be obtained at the end of this paper. Now, the discrete average of a function is a certain kind of integral average with respect to the discrete matcher. The concept of discrete matcher was studied by the Carlson. We are going to present some definition that will be necessary for the preparing this paper. Now, first definition is discrete measure. The discrete measure d mu b is defined by equation number one, where b of beta is a multivariable beta function, which is defined by this, where real of beta b is greater than or equals to j equals to one to up to k. Discrete average. The discrete average defined by uh, discrete average, uh, general discrete average function defined by equation number two, where f is a discrete measure of f and with variable of z and parameter b and the relation between u dot b is defined by this relate this equation now double average function of double average of a function of a one variable let z be a k cross x matrix with complex element z i z let u and v be ordered k tuples and x tuple of a real non negative vertices Summation of ui equals to 1 and summation of vz equals to 1 respectively. Now we define the relation between u dot z dot v dot is given uh, equals to summation of i equals to k, summation of z equals to x, ui, z, i, z, v, i, v, j. If z, i, z is regarded as a point of a complex plane, all these convex combination are the point in a convex form of z11 up to z k x denoted by the s of z. Let f be a homomorphic on a domain D in a complex plane, if real of B of greater than zero, real of beta is greater than zero, and S of J is subset of D, we define the relation, we define this equation. We define this equation. Now, double average for K equals to X equals to two of U dot Z dot V power of T is a S function defined by Gupta and Agrava as follows, where real of mu one, mu two, rho one, rho two, all are greater than zero. greater than zero. Now here, uh, dm u1, u1 defined by the equation five, dm rho one rho two is defined by equation number six and relation between u dot z dot v dot defined by equation number seven. Now in this paper, we use the general line metas, metas left of function in this form, which is defined by the Khan and Shakil, uh, is defined by equation number eight. These are the convergence conditions of the metas left of function. Fractional derivative. The fraction derivative, the Riemann evaluate function integral of order alpha is defined by the equation nine, where real of alpha is less than zero, and f of x is a form of x p f x, where f s is an analytic x equals to zero. We use this definition to find the main result. Now we find the equivalent relation of a double discrete average general metals letter function with fractional derivative for k equals to x equals to two is defined by equation ten. To get this result, we use the equation number five, six, seven, and take this condition a equals to c equals to x and b equals to d equals to y. These are some corollaries. If we take mu equals to nu, rho equals to sigma in theorem, we get this result. And corollary seven, uh, uh, corollary second, if we put mu equals to nu, rho equals to sigma, pq equals to one, we get this result. Similarly, for a third, if we take mu equals to nu, rho equals to sigma and pq delta equals to one, we get this result. Now we get another result, similar to the first result, the equivalent relation of a double discrete of a generalized metal with a function with the fractional derivative for k equals to x equals to two, defined by equation this. To get this result, we again use the five, six, seven, and db. we use this condition, a equals to x, b equals to y, and c, d is equals to zero. The number of several special cases of theorem 2 can also be obtained. Now, thank you.